what's up YouTube back here at the predator again and uh, yeah working on my uh, trail track install I ended up going a little different route I bought the bezel instead and I used the bezel damn it got dark all of a sudden but you use the bezel off of the trail tack I uh, did a reverse uh, neutral high beam and then the oil pressure light which is actually the temperature light because you don't have a temperature little thing so I figured basically that's just a warning light uh, for my high beams I got everything hooked into a ground or a positive uh, both the black and the dark green wire are positives are meant to be negatives if you use a positive circuit which means this wire here which is for my headlights is going to have to be a ground sense on it's going to have to be grounded to turn the so you see the neutral light comes on if I hit something that's a ground, see my ground post here turns the high beam light on. So I'm going to have to uh, do basically uh, relay backwards or whatever the hell that is. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's been too long of a day. Normally I would. Uh, for the high beams, come off one of the power leads off of the little connection for the lights. Come back and go into that and then go into that relay for the backwards so it's no ground on actually a relay would work just a normal relay except making the uh one that's the hot wire to the bat or the hot wire side hold on guys here i'll show you i keep this around because i can never remember how to wire a relay but uh the negative or the positive uh, that's your ground source 86 positive from battery okay that's actually not that wouldn't work I can't remember what 87 is 87 has something to do with it but I can't remember you can wire up a relay to be a ground I believe I can't remember I'll have to look it up I'll have to google it again <laughs> Normally good with relays, but uh, it's been a while since I've had to wire a negative relay. So, but I'll figure it out so that light comes on when you're all the way up here in the high beams. Just thought it'd be nice. Tack works. I'm just gonna run it back to the coil. I'm gonna shorten it up a lot. Shorten it up. Run it and run it off the frame, and then tap into the tap into the wire there. I'm just gonna run down for the positive and negative. I'm gonna run the positive over to this wire and probably the negative I thought about running it here but I'll probably end up putting an eyelet on it and just go into the ground post right there so I don't know yet depends I also have to run the uh, temperature sensor up I got my silicone hoses on uh, the only reason I put the sensor up on the top radiator hose is because it's the only one that the cable is long enough if you want to run it on the lower radiator hose you can't it's uh, not the uh, wire is not long enough which that's where I was hoping to put it was on the lower radiator hose and it's gonna have to be up on the top radiator hose but it'll be fine it'll be close enough readings for me especially with this little bastard that flows enough water it's ridiculous keeps this thing cool as you guys can see the trail display is in sleep mode it does work I haven't got the uh, speed sensor hooked up yet I'm gonna have to run it down I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get rid of the backing disc backing blade the disc brake backing plates or modify it, cut a notch out of it to clear the wheel speed sensor, and then I'll have to put the magnet in, which is right there. Which is that is, which is right here. Well, that's the right here. Right here, which has got the screw in it. And they expect this is not a self-tapping screw, and they expect you to screw that into that arm. I'm going to have to drill a hole, I take it. Right, so. Hold on, let me get this open here. Yeah, here's the Predator and Outlaw. Apparently, they want you to mount it in between your tie rod and that bolt for your brake uh, caliper. That's all right and okay, but I'm going to have to modify my... Uh, 
bracket a little bit. I'm going to have to sand a little off that plastic because it's not a perfect fit in there. It actually sits on top of the bolt. Uh, remove the sensor, mark it, and drill it one eighth hole. So the caliper mount using a sharp drill bit. Well, you know, draw, doll drill bit. Don't drill with the fuck. Attach the sensor to the caliper mount with screw provided. This is a self-tapping screw. The whole size must be an eighth. Okay. To avoid kinks while bending. Well, that'll work. We'll get her hooked up. I'll place the bolt in the caliper. I'm probably going to have to pull the tire off anyways. Well, I know I'm going to have to pull the tire off to do it, so we'll get that done. I really want to get the plastics loaded up tonight when I get home. I got to get some goop off of the front piece, but I know I can bring the back piece because the back piece can go on. That's not a problem. I can put the foot pieces on and the back piece, and I can wait to bring the front piece maybe, what's tomorrow, Wednesday? Uh, bring it Thursday. Or if I get it done, I'll run it out and I'll have it all here tomorrow. And hopefully I can get a lot of this wired tomorrow night and get everything hooked up the way I want it, get it back together. Because I would actually like to ride this thing. I don't really want to ride it. I've been here for a couple weeks. I've had it. I just really want to get it out and get it, take it for a spin. Or a little on the trailer, take it out, have some fun with it. I got no idea where I'm going with it. Uh, it may go right on Craigslist too. Hell, I don't know. I don't really want to put it on Craigslist because... I think they look kind of stupid. I may be taking them off. I don't know yet. They don't look bad on the back. I'll probably keep them on the back. But the front, I don't know. They look alright, I guess. It all depends on what they look like with plastic on. But yeah, it may go right on Craigslist. I don't know. I, it depends if I can put it on there and get what I want for it. I don't know what I want for it yet. I'm going to have to go back through and add up stuff to see what I got in it. But I think I'm going to keep this one. Now, this one's fun. But yeah, I really like the... Uh, Silicone red hoses, they look good. And that motor is relatively clean. I definitely got to go back through and do the heat shrink, or not heat shrink, the heat wrap to the. Uh, trying to get you guys color adjustment, but apparently not. The sharp is dark. The shop is darker than hell, so. Yeah. But I got to go through and put uh, some heat guard on behind the uh, brake. Selling, or not the brake, the brake reservoir for the rear brake right there, just because it's really close to that pipe. Yeah, I'm really anxious to take this thing for a spin. I really want to drive it, see what it does, see how it runs. I'm probably going to have to jet it because of that pipe, but who knows. I'll just have to see when I drive it. I'm thinking about putting a new plug on it right now because I got the tank off. So it all depends. If I got one here, it works. So. As you guys can see, my choke bracket's down here. It will be behind the fender, but I'll just have to pull it out to pretty much start it when the fuel drains off the bowl or something. That's the only reason I haven't used it so far. I really haven't had to use it. Got the radiator back in, of course. I took it out and cleaned it real good. I want to build a cover to cover this up because this looks like crap. I'm really thinking about cutting this off to the back to go on this side to cover up to cover up the uh, key switch and I'm gonna have to probably make something I thought about using this here cutting that off and making that for the front but I'll probably end up using that for the key because that'll be the easiest thing I could do real quick like and make it look good uh, I'll have to build me something else for back here but I'll wait until it's all wired up. Depends on what it looks like. If I can make it look decent, I'd keep it open like that. This is an ambient air temperature sensor. This uh, little gauge has uh, ambient air, which is pretty cool. That'd be kind of neat and handy. I'm not real sure. I think this is the, that's the time. So it says it's 6.02. It says the lie, it's 7.30. So I'll have to definitely change the time in it. I'll have to set, I got a bunch of settings. I got to set the tire size. I don't know what I'm doing for tires. I really want to do hole shots. I want to do HD hole shots. The heavy duty hole shots are six plies. But I had to put a 22 in the front and I will be end up putting the factory size tire in the rear. 
which is not a big deal. Let me heat guard this hose because that's pretty good set pipe and that pipe's gonna get hot. So yeah, I'll get all that stuff guarded. So keep the heat away from it. So yeah, that was a quick update. I think that looks good. I like it. I don't really like the key being there, but hey, it works. That was the easiest way to mount it. Uh, after I was gonna mount it on top of this and leave the neutral reverse and temperature light in the factory locations and modify the one light. Put my volt uh, meter away, or my test light. I would cut this up and then sand in the back to, I was gonna build me a flat plate to mount it. That didn't work out either. It just was gonna be too big of a hassle. To uh, make it fit with that bracket so I just put it on here I basically took the bracket that comes with this bezel bend it down had to make these holes custom holes uh, I had to take a rasp I really need to take them out and put a washer on there but I think the handlebars are gonna do just fine this is tight it's on uh, uh, on rubber bushings I had to bend these tabs down to make it fit, but yeah, it works. So guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm tired. The bugs are chewing me up right now, so I got the rear shock in too. I don't know if that was in the last video. Uh, don't squeak anymore, which is awesome. I really can't do that because it's on the stand, but yeah, don't squeak no more. So yeah, it'll be fun. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. And uh, have a good one.